Good fastball slider combination. Cedric Mullins sizzles one into right field off of a fastball. Thrown hard and hit harder. Orioles second hit. Mullins right center field. That ball's up the alley. That ball is going to be extra bases. Maybe three. Cedric loses the helmet. He's going to go to third. And he's in there. Watch Cedric Mullins go get this backdoor slider. You see it kind of working its way back. He just goes out and hooks this ball. Hooked it right out toward right center field. And the race is on from there. With two out, Cedric Mullins is thinking one thing. I got to get to third base. And he does head first. He's the emergency catcher. Mullins, right field, base hit, extra base hit coming. He's already got one triple in the game, and this time he'll hold at second with a double, and Cedric will start the sprinkler in the dugout and in the bird bath. Oh, in the right field, Mullins, did he do it? Yes. Yes, yes, he did. It's a tsunami. Change up, up, and working away from him. And he just goes out and just hooks this ball. And I mean, he hooked it right onto the flag court. You know, I see them carrying the cooler right next to me now, so I'm going to brace myself. But, you know, just, <laughs> just going to take it. Just grin and bear it. Grin and bear it. Mateo, Hayes, and Rutschman ready to run. High fly ball left oh field. My. Did he? Yes, he did. As grand as it gets. A nine, count them, nine RBI night for Ryan Mountcastle. Santander will bat. One down, base is empty. Santander to right. Santander to right. And this baby's gone. Some magic on a Friday night in downtown Baltimore. And the Orioles walk off New York and they win the game 1 0. Tony Taters. And that's a big fly, folks. I mean, he went down and stuck his nose on a changeup and blistered it. His 18th long ball of the year, his 56th RBI. Remember that road trip that Tony had to struggle a little bit? Not on that swing. Santander, seventh in the American League in extra base hits. And that ball is going to be an extra base hit. Down the line and to the wall it goes. Safe is Santander. Now that's not a ground ball. That one is down the line in the left field. That plates Henderson easily. Santander is in. Back to back extra base hits for the Orioles. Frazier swing. Drive a three run, no doubt shot from Adam Frazier. 32nd pitch of the inning to Rutschman. This one is in a center field. Here comes Westberg. They'll have no chance to stop him. It's a touchdown. The Orioles have seven. Rutschman has two hits in the inning, and it's the first. Felix Bautista is back out there. Try to put the Orioles alone at the top in the AL East. Lau with a ground ball to second. Frazier, one, Henderson, yes, ball game! The Orioles move into sole possession of first place. And Austin, it's a ground ball to third, sucked up by Chapman in his throw, hit the runner, Mount Castle in the back. On the schoolyard, it's an out. Here in the big leagues, it's an Orioles lead. Chapman stuck one right to the back of Mount Castle. France into center field, hit well. Hit deep. Mullins. He got it. He, he got cannot it. be serious. Oh, my gosh. He cannot have just done that. Oh. He cannot have just done that. That ball was over the fence. And Mullins drives this one Get into up. right field. That's a fair Get ball. Up. That is deep. That is oh my out of here. Cedric Mullins oh robs gosh. a home run. Cedric Mullins hits a home run. And the Orioles are back in front. Are you kidding me? And they are loaded up for Gunner. Right guy at the right time here. Ooh. Henderson into left center. Kiermeyer at the wall. And get out of here! Yes, he did! Grand 
slam gutter. Oh, what a night. The first career grand slam for the reigning American League Player of the Week. It is Grayson Rodriguez Day here in Arlington, Texas. Don't they know it? They were ready for him. Looking for the first strikeout. And he's got it. Grayson Rodriguez. His first strikeout as a big leaguer ends a perfect second inning in his home state of Texas. <laughs> Finally did it. Yep. <laughs> and that ball is belted. Right center field. Adley Rutschman sends us home with a walk-off homer. Is this guy any good or what? Well, he wasted no time, I can tell you that. First pitch he sees, an 0 for 4 day for Rutschman going into this at bat. But nobody's going to remember the 0 for 4. The 2 0. He swings and drives it to deep right field. Verdugo going back. He's on the track. He's looking up. And this one is out of here. It's a home run for Adley Rutschman. Adley gets the year started. This one's to third, Devers, oh, Devers booted it. Official scoring decision pending. Oh, it's a hit. Going to hit. That is a five hit opening day for Adley Rutschman. Adam Frazier with a chance to be a hero, to walk it off here. Chopper to the right side, Torkelson coming home. Throw is offline, and the Orioles win it on a walk off. The throw was wide, Mountcastle slides in safely, and it's the second walk-off for the Orioles this year. So for back-to-back -back games at home, the Orioles walk it off. Adam Frazier, his fourth career walk-off. Five-man infield for Jorge Mateo, two outfielders, and a ball to the outfield likely wins it. Englert's pitch. Oh, and it kicks away! Frazier will score! Six straight for the Orioles. Three walk-off wins in the last four home games. And Adam Frazier gets dirty at the right time. Orioles three for ten with runners in scoring positions so far. Oh, boy. Three, two, gutter. High in the air to right field. Look out below. Oh, what a big blast. This is what you've been waiting for, folks. This is Gunnar Henderson. <laughs> and Austin Hayes. McKenna smacks it into right field. That ball is deep. That ball is gone. This game is over. Defensive replacement. Offensive winner. A big Mac walk-off. The biggest home run that Ryan McKenna has ever hit. You hate to see closers come in just to get some work in because that work ends up being heavy on the ERA. How about a double play here? This is going to end the game. Sosa with a boneheaded base running mistake. The White Sox run themselves into the final out. And the Orioles get another series victory, winning it 9-3. to three. Mullins into center field. This should do it. Margot going back. It does not matter. Adley Rutschman will score. And the Orioles, who clinched a postseason berth just a few minutes ago, seal their fate with a walk-off win. A clincher, a walk-off. Control of the American League East. Now that's not bad for a Sunday. Mullins drives it, high and deep right field. Cedric Mullins has done it again. Do you believe this? A ninth inning, three run demolition from Cedric Mullins. Mike Elias, Brandon Hyde in this organization, they preach patience, we preach patience. You all were patient. You tuned in night after night, hoping for a moment like this. The 1-1 one -one to Story is grounded to third. Ramona Rios from third. The Orioles have done it. Go crazy, Baltimore. You are the new champions of the American League East.
Brandon Hyde, this Oriole team. They have been through so much. Two years ago, 100 losses. Two years later, 100 wins. And the road to the World Series in the American League will run right through Baltimore, Maryland.